Hello students, in the last classes we have discussed about this chapter materials of daily use that is clothes and in this, this chapter is also known as fiber to fabric in your NCRT book. We have discussed a lot more about fabrics and fibers in this chapter and various basic terms which we have gone through. So, we have discussed about the fibers which are natural in nature that is plant fiber and animal fiber, synthetic fibers yet to be discussed and even animal fiber we have to discuss in brief because in your syllabus only plant fibers are there in your 6th standard, 7th standard animal fibers are in detail and then in 8th standard you will be reading about synthetic fibers in detail. But we will be having a brief idea about both animal fiber and synthetic fiber in the end of the chapter. So, what we have discussed so far in plant fiber is about cotton and about jute that what are the climatic conditions needed for cotton, what, which are the major producers of cotton in the world, which are major producers uh, of cotton in our India, which states are major producers and in the same manner we have read, uh, read about jute and we have read about the uses and all. So, today there are many other fibers, these are the major uh, fibers which actually uh, are plant fibers which are cultivated just to get fibers out of these that is jute and cotton. There are many others also which are also utilized for various uses, but not as extensively as jute and cotton. So, we will be discussing about them in brief like flax. If we talk about flax, you must have heard about linen, linen fabric, bahut suna hoga apne linen kurta, linen jackets and all, there are number of things, linen scarves and all. So, what are those? Actually see, this linen is obtained from the stem of the flax plant, so this is also a bast fiber and it is called, this fabric is known as linen and it is used in the production of rope and high quality paper. If high quality paper is required, it is also generated from this flax, okay? Um, then there comes coir, which is really uh, means uh, there are questions made from this, this small question in competitive exam. Outer covering of fruit of the coconut plant, that it is a fruit fiber and the husk, the outer covering jo rehti hai, apne dekha hoga coconut ke upar brown covering rehti hai. That is used for making ropes, that is also used for making floor covering, carpets, wagera, jo te, jo, mats, jo te, floor mats. They are also made of coir and you must have heard about coir foam which is used in mattresses and pillows. There are pillows and mattresses which are filled with this coir fibers. So, they are also known as filler, sorry, they are also used as fillers in pillows and mattresses. Next is silk co cotton which is obtained from silk cotton tree known as kapok. Kapok is a tree which actually bears the same uh, means Actually, it is shining in nature, it is not like cotton, but it resembles cotton in many manner. So, that is why it is named so. Silk cotton kyun naam diya hai? Because silk jaisa iska shining hota hai, iske fiber mein. Silk cotton pre known as kapok, it is used as stuffing in pillows. It is, jo pillows hote hai, sleeping bags hote hai, un mein silk ka, silky material cotton hota hai, that is known as kapok, sorry, silk cotton fiber known as silk cotton and life ja jackets jo hai, sleeping bags jo hai, in may only the this silk cotton is used as a filler. The next fiber is hemp, these are the major fiber after uh, cotton and jute which are extensively used. Hemp is obtained again from the stem of hemp plant again a bast fiber and used in the production of ropes, carpets, nets, clothes and paper. Hemp ko bhi pe, uh, clothes bhi use karte hai. Even linen is also used in making fabrics. Theek hai. So, these were fibers other than cotton and jute which are used for various other uses. So, these again are important to one. Their uses are also given in your book. If not, you can go through and there are many other fibers. This The list is not the end. This is not the end. There are many other fibers which are obtained from plant sources. And they are actually used for making may, many other things. Now, if we talk about other fibers, uh, we have uh, discussed about the history of clothing. We have discussed about so many things in the uh, last lectures. So, today we will be discussing in brief about animal fiber. Plant fiber is done. Animal fiber. If we talk about animal fiber, then there are two major animal fiber, wool and silk. If we talk about 
wool then it is obtained from the animal sheep but it is not the only uh, wool bearing animal there are many other animal from which we can other wool bearing animals there are many other animals like uh, camel llama goat pashmina goat then angora rabbit yak vikuna uh, there are other animals also very fine quality wool is obtained from these with depending yak se fine quality nahi aata but goat and angora rabbit and sheep of course is the main wool bearing animal now what is done in case of means we will be discussing this about in brief so what is done in case of wool so wool is actually a layer of hair what is wool wool is actually those soft hair which are present over the body of the animal so that covering of the hair is known as fleece fleece so this fleece is removed from the body of the animal just like men shave their hair so this this covering is removed this is removed and collected so when it is removed a very thin layer of skin is also removed and there are dirt and dust particles which are stick to the body of the animal so when fleece is removed it is uh, removed from several animals aisa to hai nahi ek sheep ka hi lete hain there are stock and from that stock the uh, fleece is collected so that fleece is collected and then this is washed first so this process is known as scouring washed in detergent so that the dirt dust or any sticky material which is there or the thin layer of skin and other impurities which are there they can be removed then it is dried and then second step is of sorting that means it is sorted sorted in which manner sorted based sorting is done based on the length of the fiber then texture of the fiber these are the two main uh, qualities so length or texture ke basis pe karte hain ki short hai smooth hai long hai smooth hai short and rough hai it depends so there are different categories on which it is uh, this fleece is sorted out after sorting the fibers are then straightened and combed as they are distangled into each other so they are first combed and straightened and that process is known as carding and combing after carding and combing when they are straightened or they are uh, combed properly they are distangled from each other as they were entangled first so then they are straightened pehle unko seedha kiya jata hai seedhe karne ke baad ek machine hoti hai ya to pehle aap usse usko material ko ye uh, carding combing kar lo ya fir pehle fabric bana lo and then fabric could be dyed or the fiber could be dyed first and then it could be made into fabric either the process of either by the process of weaving or knitting so this is in short about wool theek hai ye wool ke bare mein tha abhi agar hum baat karenge next fiber silk uh, iski silk fiber ki to silk is obtained from silk moth female silk moth silk is obtained from silk moth ठीक है सिल्क मॉथ इज नॉट अ बटरफ्लाई वेरियस टाइम्स आई हैव सीन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सॉरी आई हैव सीन दैट चिल्ड्रन यूजुअली मेड दिस मिस्टेक दैट इज अ वन इंसेक्ट नोन एज बटरफ्लाई फ्रॉम विच इट इज ऑप्टेन नो 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 बटरफ्लाई इज डिफरेंट इंसेक्ट एंड सिल्क मॉथ इज डिफरेंट इंसेक्ट सो सिल्क इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम सिल्क मॉथ विच इज नोन एज आई टेल यू द बायोलॉजिकल नेम ऑफ सिल्क मॉथ एज वेल एज द ट्री ऑन विच इट फीड्स and before starting with the silk and uh, how we obtain i'll tell you about the history of the silk what happened was how silk was discovered actually silk was discovered in uh, china jab ye china mein discover hua aur kaise discover hua iski ek history hai see children when silk was discovered and king was there china mein king the and unki empress thi emperor and empress so what happened was that queen or the empress so wo she was uh, means the king was worried the king was worried about the 
डिजीज विच वॉज देयर इन दी मलबरी ट्री इन इज रॉयल गार्डन उनके रॉयल गार्डन में जो मलबरी बुशेस थी उनमें एक डिजीज हो गई और किसी को वो समझ नहीं आ रहा था कि क्या हो रहा है सो द किंग वॉज वरिड एंड ही डिस्कस दिस अबाउट दिस डिजीज और दिस वरी टू हिज वाइफ सो शी सेट की ठीक है आई गो इन द मॉर्निंग एंड आई माई सेल्फ चेक की वॉट इज देयर वॉट्स रॉन्ग विद दीज मलबरी बुशेज सो शी विजिटेड एंड अगेन शी वॉज डिसअपॉइंटेड एंड शी डेंट फाउंड एनी क्लू सो शी सेट बी जस्ट अंडर द ट्री वो बैठ गई एंड आस्क फॉर अ टी सो पाइपिंग हॉट टी वॉज प्रजेंटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ सो वॉट हैपन वॉज वेन टी वॉज प्रजेंटेड अ ककून ऑफ एन इंसेक्ट फेल डाउन इन द बोल ऑफ द टी दैट मग ऑफ द टी एंड देन वॉट शी सो मीन्स एज सुन एज इट फॉल डाउन देर वर फाइबर्स देर वर शाइनी फाइबर्स ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दैट मग और द कप ऑफ द टी सो फ्रॉम देयर इट वॉज डिस्कवर द सिल्क फाइबर सो सिल्क इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द सिल्क मॉथ एक्चुअली ककून ऑफ द सिल्क मॉथ सिल्क मौत के ककून से मिलता है और कैसे मिलता है देखो फीमेल सिल्क मौत लेज नंबर ऑफ एग्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ एग्स जितना छोटा ऑर्गेनिज्म होगा उसका जो ब्रीडिंग के टाइम पे नंबर ऑफ ऑफस्प्रिंग प्रोडक्शन होता है दैट इज मैक्सिमम स्मॉलर इज द ऑर्गेनिज्म इन साइज मोर इज द नंबर ऑफ ऑफस्प्रिंग एट बर्थ टाइम सो अगेन इन केस ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स द एग्स लेड बाय द इंसेक्ट्स आर मेनी बाय सिंगल इंसेक्ट बिकॉज देर आर ओनली फ्यू विच एक्चुअली सर्वाइव अदर्स इधर दे आर डेड इन द एग वाला कंडीशन में ही मर जाते हैं या लार्वा बनने के बाद मर जाएंगे है ना कैटरपिलर में कोई सी एक स्टेज पे बहुत कम होते हैं जो एडल्ट स्टेज रीच कर पाते हैं दैट इज़ वे इनका नंबर ज़्यादा होता है वो बहुत सारे एग्स देते हैं कि कुछ हो गए तभी बहुत ही वो कुछ और बहुत कुछ को बना देंगे आगे उनका ऑस्प्रिंग और ये जनरेशन चलता रहेगा सो हंड्रेड्स ऑफ एग्ज आर बींग लेड बाय फीमेल सिल्क मॉथ एंड दो देन दोज एग्ज आफ्टर सम टाइम्स हैच आउट लार्वाज and those larva actually feeds on the mulberry tree leaves wo mulberry tree ki leaves ko khate hain and this process of eating you know that actually uh, it is for 3 weeks 21 days tak inka ye khane ka program chalta hai near about 3 weeks so they keep on eating and स्लीप फॉर अ वाइल फॉर अ डे ऐसे एक सो जाते हैं ठीक है लेकिन वो कंटिन्यूस को खाएंगे और खाने के बाद उनका जो लार्वल स्टेज है वो चेंज हो जाता है इन द कैटरपिलर देन दैट कैटरपिलर स्टॉप ईटिंग वेन इट इज चेंज इन टू कैटरपिलर साइज एंड स्टार्ट वीविंग और स्विंगिंग अराउंड द स्टेम ट्विग्स ऑफ द मलबरी बुश जब वो ट्विग्स के अराउंड मूव करता है तो उसके आसपास एक कवरिंग आ जाती है कवरिंग कैसे आती है ड्यूरिंग स्विंगिंग प्रोसेस दे इजेक्ट अ लिक्विड आउट फ्रॉम देयर माउथ वो अपने मुंह से एक लिक्विड निकालते हैं एंड दैट लिक्विड एज सून एज दैट कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद एयर इट ड्राइज इट हार्डन्स एंड कवर्स देयर बॉडी वो वहीं पे जैसे उन्होंने मुंह से बाहर निकालना वो सूख जाएगा सूख जाएगा तो उन्हीं की बॉडी को कवर करता जाता है क्योंकि ड्रॉप डाउन भी नहीं हो सकता उससे पहले तो उनकी बॉडी पे चिपक जाएगा आसपास तो इन दिस मैनर द कैटरपिलर्स आर प्रोटेक्टेड एंड दिस इज नोन एज प्यूपा स्टेज ठीक है देन दैट वो कैटरपिलर अंदर है और उसके आसपास एक शील्ड बनती जा रही है दैट इज नोन एज ककू इंसेक्ट अभी भी अंदर है एंड देन दैट इंसेक्ट डेवलप्स इन टू एडल्ट एंड वेन एडल्ट इज डेवलप्ड इन साइड दैट ककून इट ब्रेक्स द ककून एंड कम्स आउट सो दिस इज नेचुरल लाइफ साइकिल बट वॉट वी आर डूइंग टू अपटेन सिल्क इज वी एक्चुअली कलेक्ट ककून हम उनको एडल्ट नहीं बनने देते और ककून इकट्ठे करने के बाद वी बॉइल दोज ककून और पुट इन टू बॉइलिंग हॉट वाटर सो वॉट हैपन इज द टू थिंग्स आर देयर दैट वाई वी पुट इन बॉइलिंग हॉट वाटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द ककून द इंसेक्ट इन साइड द ककून डाइज वो मर जाता है तो वो उसको ब्रेक नहीं करेगा तो हमें कंटिन्यूस फाइबर मिलेगा सेकेंडली द गमी सब्सटेंस होल्डिंग द फाइबर देर इज सब्सटेंस विच एक्चुअली मेक दीज फाइबर्स स्टिक टू ईच अदर सो दैट इज दैट इज डिजोल्व इन वाटर and loose fibers are obtained so this is again a fibrous stage abhi bhi hume jo mila hai that is raw silk and then amazing thing about raw silk is it contain 48 individual fiber this raw silk thread which is obtained from the cocoon directly still this is so thin 
that it is uh, means two or three more are taken together to make a yarn or a thread of silk. So, we do that. Okay. After that, again the process is same for weaving or knitting as per the requirement. Silk is used. Then last are synthetic fiber. Actually, these are not at all in your syllabus, but again a brief idea. Synthetic fiber, these are obtained from petrochemicals. Actually, what happens is when petroleum is refined, then there are many, many chemicals which are obtained from petro petroleum. So, those chemicals are petrochemicals and there are the petrochemicals are then they are used for making these fabric. What is done is actually uh, these petrochemicals, different petrochemicals undergo process of polymerization which you will be reading in your 8th standard in detail, polymerization to get synthetic, for getting synthetic fiber. Like अगर आपको nylon के लिए चाहिए तो आपका जो petrochemical है वो that is amide तो आपको polyamide मिल जाएगा if uh, your ester is the uh, petrochemical you will get polyester and there are many others so these are synthesized in the laboratories and one more uh, semi synthetic fiber is there that is known as rayon semi synthetic in nature rayon rayon semi synthetic क्यों है देखो बेटा in case of rayon the rayon is obtained from <coughs> see semi synthetic naam ke upar agar hum pehle jaye to aadha synthetic hai aadha natural hai yahi matlab hua because iska jo raw material hai that is natural in nature and the raw material is wood cellulose raw material is actually wood cellulose this is modified isme chemical treatment hota hai iska and chemical treatment ke baad इसका जो real nature है, that is modified and that is why we obtain, that is how we obtain rayon. So rayon is the only semi-synthetic fiber obtained from wood cellulose. Why it is named so? Because the raw material is natural in nature. That is why it is semi-synthetic. Fully synthetic है नहीं, क्योंकि raw material हम nature से ले रहे हैं और उस raw material को हम chemicals के साथ मिला करके उसके बेसिक नेचर को थोड़ा मॉडिफाई कर रहे हैं और उससे हमें हमारी पसंद का फाइबर मिल रहा है दैट इज नोन एज रेयॉन सो दिस वाज अबाउट फाइबर टू फैब्रिक इन डिटेल हमने सब कुछ पढ़ा वी हैव रेड अबाउट कॉटन वी हैव रेड अबाउट यूजेस ऑफ कॉटन हाउ कॉटन इज ऑप्टेन देन जूट हाउ जूट इज ऑप्टेन यूजेस ऑफ जूट एंड वेरियस अदर प्लांट फाइबर व्हिच आर मेजरली यूज्ड बाय अस फॉर मेकिंग अदर देन फैब्रिक दैट इज रोब्स कारपेट्स फिलर्स एंड ऑल एंड देन दीस वूल एंड सिल्क वी हैव रेड दैट दीस एंड देयर आर सिंथेटिक फाइबर एंड सेमी सिंथेटिक फाइबर सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट दिस चैप्टर we have read in the next class we will be reading about uh, the next chapter so agar aapko koi bhi doubt ya kuch hota hai to you can write in the comment box okay thank you